Hello, my name is Jacob Folger. I'm a sculptor and an artist, and today I'm going to show you how to make a miniature patio out of polymer clay. And we're working with white polymer clay here. This is Sculpey 3. Um, and uh, I, I really like Sculpey 3. It's uh, it's just very easy to work with and it's pretty hardy once cooked. Um, before working with it you do have to knead it a little bit uh, and this is called conditioning because there's a lot of ingredients inside the uh, the clay and it, they kind of have to get mixed in uh, mixed in together. Okay. Now, um, before you start, you, you've, you've got your, um, we're going to be working with this uh, little plate here. And, uh, you know, I took some time and, and made a little template uh, to go so that I knew that it would fit in there okay. Um, it's probably a nice idea to have a template um, just to kind of keep you within the perimeters that you need to be in, uh, like when you're working with a plate like this. Uh, you can, of course, work with any size vessel, uh, but this is what I'm working with today. So I made this little paper uh, template, and I just want to make sure that uh, the polymer clay will fit it. So it's a little off, but once I um, flatten it a little bit, it will probably pick up size. Um, you can use a lot of things to roll uh, polymer clay to make it flat. Um, I'm going to actually use some seasoning here, a seasoning bottle. And I'm just going to roll it. Uh, they actually, they make polymer clay rollers and you can probably use a, a dough roller. Um, you do want to try to uh, have the, that thickness fairly uniform. Okay, so we got that rolled out, and then it, it actually pulls up fairly easy. So I'm just going to turn it over. One thing you have to do, you should do with polymer clay, is if you're working with the white clay or the you know the light colored clays, is to uh, make sure that your hands are clean before you start which I did not do here but I'm going to do a finish I'm going to show you how to do a finish on here to make it look like stone after we're done so I'm not too worried about that and following the template I'm just going to uh, use an exacto knife I could you, you could probably use any kind of knife really because the clay obviously is not uh, hard to cut and uh, we're just cutting it out here it's a good idea to hold the knife as uh, as uh, straight up and down as you can so that it doesn't you know cut at an angle and uh, cut this here And then here, okay, so there's the shape. And then what we'll do is uh, lay this back in the plate and make sure the shape is right, you know, that, that if I went off my cuts or anything like that. Um, you can gently press back so that the uh, you can stretch it a little bit more so that it fits better like that because you do you do kind of want it to fit nicely so just um, all I'm doing is pushing with my fingers and kind of stretching the clay a little bit. But I'm doing it really gently so that I don't like mar up the, uh, the surface here. And then you can uh, just smooth it out. And 
here like that okay so when you get the shape about right there uh, and you know you know that's about what you want you're gonna take you can take a, a pen or a pencil um, and uh, it's it probably a good idea to take uh, take the tip back out because ink can get on this and just make a make a mess and what you're gonna do here is um, carve little lines in to make it look like flagstone so I'll just make a line here like that but when I do that it kind of flares up and creates like a little wave that needs to be um, smoothed down so as you carve each one you should smooth down that that little wave okay so we'll uh, carve and smooth the wave and do it each time because when you get this all done uh, it will be harder to uh, go back and you're just uh, drawing basically or carving or drawing uh, random lines uh, at a curve to create the look of flagstone basically is what we're trying to do here You want to try to make it as random as possible. So don't just uh, don't just try to go back and forth like that because, and this is really a thin part, so it's kind of hard to um, do that. But you should try your best. almost there and then one there and now just go back and make sure that you've got all the waves I don't know what to call them flares waves um, but you want to make sure there it's nice and neat and then and uh, we'll we'll cook this this is uh, no more than uh, a quarter inch thick uh, at its thickest point um, so uh, I would cook this for about somewhere around 15 minutes it's 275 degrees for the Sculpey 3 if you have a different clay it might be a different uh, setting and time but for the Sculpey 3 it's uh, 275 degrees for, for 15 minutes per quarter inch of mass which means the thickest part is a quarter inch then you would cook it for 15 minutes and you want to cook it on a smooth surface uh, a, uh, a ceramic plate would be fine with no texture just a smooth surface okay um, I have uh, baked my uh, patio piece and uh, I let it cool you want to let it cool because it will be um, somewhat soft when it comes out of the oven and it could break or bend or that sort of thing so uh, you definitely want to make sure it's good and cool and also you don't want the paint and uh, the wash that we're going to do to do the finish you don't want it to dry on it while you're working um, what the what I did was I, I created a wash um, I created a wash of uh, black paint black acrylic paint and uh, so one part paint and one part water and, and then you have to mix it up really really good and it's best to mix it up with a brush um, let me see if I can show you this brush 
without making a mess yeah so th that's the brush it's a good idea to have a brush like that to mix it up and just keep on the bottom uh, to get it to get all that paint residue up into the water and mix it up really good um, another thing that you can do uh, is you can you can use other colors of course this is uh, raw sienna um, it's another another color and um, I'm going to show you a sample of that I have a, a patio piece here for uh, with this uh, with this very paint uh, started uh, I recommend a couple paper towels like this and uh, you, you might want to cover one hand in one you know one of the paper towels these are connected I think that's okay and uh, hold the piece the patio piece in your hand in, in one hand like that now this paint will wash off but you, you pretty much have to get to it right away after you've you've done the done and the patina and then wiped it off and I'm going to show you how to do that but you should wash off your brush and anything your hands or whatever uh, soon after okay so I've got the brush here and I'm just the top the sides I painted it on the sides because uh, I want it to um, you you may see the sides of the patio piece you might see them so and you want to work it in all the detail you don't want it to dry on there that's for sure you do not want it to dry on there so if you're going really slow you might want to add some more put some more on there and then you just wipe it off um, you just wipe it off the patio piece and it makes it look to me or at least to me it looks like uh, it's a uh, flagstone and you could leave it like and wait a few minutes and you could do another coat just like we just did and wipe that off and you'd see it would get darker like this piece here this is a uh, piece that I did earlier um, I don't want this to be dark like this because it's, uh, uh, I, I'm doing a garden with it. I'm okay, so I've just uh, finished uh, the garden with the patio for this piece that we just did for this video. And uh, I wanted to tell you this bench I made this morning actually, the bench and the table, I, I'm planning on doing a video on it, but I want to, I want to try to get better at it that was the first bench I ever made so but it did work out pretty good I think it's I really like the bench a lot um, I was talking about contrast if you made the patio really dark and you had moss or whatever you're going to use for your plantings and they were really dark then you wouldn't have that contrast and the patio wouldn't stand out the way it does um, and then also uh, you know I had some pebbles and that just adds a little bit of flavor to it and an air plant that's an air plant back there um, so that's what that's the kind of thing you can do and uh, uh, I just suggest you tr you try it it's uh, it's really not that hard it's easy to do and you can make all kinds of designs with the patio this uh, here is uh, the uh, what was that this was raw sienna was this paint that I used to make this piece to finish this piece um, the uh, so and that was like a half moon that's like a moon kind of thing um, so you can use different colors and uh, just experiment it's really a lot of fun if you like this kind of content, I would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of things along these lines, a lot of videos along these lines. And please rate the video. Tell me what you think. And please also comment. And if you have an idea for a video that you would like to see made, please uh, put it in the comment section. And I'll look at, after it and, and uh, see if I can do that for you. Um, I really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching and have a great day.